Hello, everybody, and uh, my name is Maria, and I am the creator of Creations by MLM. I will be making a fiesta wreath uh, today. Um, we're going to start from start to finish on how I make my fiesta wreath. Uh, keep in mind that this is uh, my first video of me actually making the wreath, so kind of bear with me as I go through it. I um, just started with uh, making reads uh, back in October, as I had mentioned in my previous video, and this will actually be my second uh, fiesta read, so we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully it comes out uh, pretty good. So I already got everything pretty much all prepped. Um, I do have a 14-inch base wreath that I'm going to be using. I already have all the chanels uh, on there already ready to go. And they are actually 21 of them. And that's usually uh, the standard. And I will be using um, several different ribbons. Um, definitely I got this cute little uh, Fiesta sign uh, as well that we'll be adding on and um, you know, little piñatas and the maracas and I got this um, really cute little uh, sombreros that I'm going to be uh, adding on uh, to them as well and so let's get started okay so I pretty much got all my uh, mesh already cut up. I did just want to uh, just cut just a few here with you so uh, you can kind of see how I do it. So I'm just going to cut just a few more here. And of course, this is fantastic. So if you can get one of these, it's absolutely great. Um, it's just a cutter. Uh, I don't know exactly the name of it, but um, it cuts the mesh really nice. Oops. Really nice. So we're just going to do a couple more of these because uh, I already have um, a few of them already cut. And uh, love this. Uh, it's like a sapphire blue. I love it. Uh, we'll be doing a yellow one as well and then i'm gonna also be using uh, a green so i'm gonna be kind of uh, mixing it here and there i love color and fiesta is all about the colors nice and bright and festive so i'm just gonna do a couple more of these because i think i Pretty much almost got uh, everything that I need. And this color here is more like a purple, um, bluish tint to it. It's really pretty as well. I think I might just have enough. Oops. There you go. So we're all done with that, I believe. Okay. So let's start putting this wreath together. And if you don't know about Fiesta, Fiesta is a celebration here in San Antonio, Texas. Um, it is celebrated every year. It started back in the 1800s as a, just as a parade to uh, honor those um, that had fallen um, on the battle in the Alamo. And every year, um, there's a huge celebration downtown. They do um, lots of food, lots of music, uh, lots of parades, especially flower parades. Uh, down the river walk if you've never been it is actually uh pretty neat downtown so i'm gonna be using this uh rainbow colored mesh 
Um, it's very festive. So it's my first time using this one here. My first Fiesta wreath, I used a fuchsia uh, color uh, mesh. So, but I really want to try this rainbow. So I do uh, the bubble wreath method. So I'm just kind of gather here at the end, just to kind of bunch it up a little bit there. And we'll just start right here. So just give it like three twists there. And then we're moving on to the next one. I do mine about eight, nine um, inches um, bubble. And I have found that that is more than sufficient. Of course, you can make them as big or as small as you like. And as I go through it, I just fluff it up a little bit. That is just so cute. I love that. Of course, I got all the multicolor Chanel's. Because, uh, again, it's all about the colors for Fiesta. So we're just going to keep doing this here. Um, you can start at the bottom. Uh, you can always, always uh, as well start at the top. Um, I've done both ways, so it works uh, whichever way that you want to do it. Gosh, it's a beautiful day out here in San Antonio. I believe that we're getting up to uh, 72 degrees today. Sun is shining. Uh, it is a beautiful day. Try to go as fast as possible uh, to get this done. Like I said, this is my second Fiesta wreath that I'm going to be making. So I'm pretty excited to see what it looks like. Uh, I originally started uh, actually back on October of 2021. I was just curious. Um, on um, just trying to find some some examples of what I could use to try to maybe brighten up the an old wreath that I had my husband bought there for me 13 years ago. Um, but it's looking kind of you know kind of shabby there, so I wanted to kind of update it. So I went online and I came across some pictures of these beautiful deco mesh reeds and to be honest I've never ever seen um, a deco mesh wreath before I actually never even heard of it so I got really curious about it and I did watch tons of video uh, that day and I was just so fascinated by them and how gorgeous the end results were and how talented um, these uh, wreath makers were. I just, I was just so intrigued and it was just, just pretty cool actually, I thought. And I thought to myself, you know, I think I, I think I would enjoy making these. You know, I've always wanted to find something that could bring me some joy that I could actually enjoy. Um, so I thought, well, you know, let's um, let me check it out. So I got me some supplies and um, got me some deco mesh. And to be honest with you, I never seen this material at all so I had no idea it existed and and I started um, I made my first uh, Christmas um, wreath and I thought 
Wow, this actually looks wow. really pretty. I couldn't believe that I actually uh, made it. Um, it was kind of plain, um, had a really cute Christmas sign on it, uh, some ribbon. No embellishments really. Um, I really wasn't sure how to decorate it or no, I just kind of just didn't really think about it uh, much. So just thought it'd be something I could do, just kind of a, like a little hobby just for myself. Um, maybe make some reads for my family, you know, to put on the doors. And then I posted it and it actually sold. So I was pretty pumped and excited. I couldn't believe someone actually wanted to buy it. Uh, and then I did get requests for more. And so I got myself busy. I got me more, um, more supplies. And I made quite a few actually um, Christmas wreath. I actually had a special request from a lady who wanted a specific candy cane wreath. Um, and I was so nervous because I've, like I said, I just started. <laughs> so, you know, I wasn't sure if I could do it, but I did and she absolutely loved it. So that was pretty exciting. And so I just, so back in, um, after Christmas was over, I, um, I saw this Deco Mesh Fiesta wreath online and it was just absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors. Um, so I went ahead and I said, well, let me see if I can see if I can make one. And so I made it. Um, it took me it took me a little longer because <laughs> I was just, you know, like I said, I just started uh, doing this wreath. But it actually came out really pretty, I thought. And so um, I kind of just sat here uh, in my office for since January until up to two weeks ago. Um, a One of my customers who also bought an Easter wreath um, asked me if I did Fiesta and I showed her a picture. And, well, and she bought it <laughs> so that was pretty exciting so so yeah so I'm just uh, this will be my second one so I'm excited to see how this is gonna look and I'm no expert by all means <laughs> whatsoever um, just starting out I'm learning as I go uh, there's just so much learning and so much um, so many uh, things that go into making um, a, a wreath a lot of components But I do love the end results, so um, I'm improving every time I make a new wreath, um, you know, how to make it better for the next time, uh, the different embellishments to add. I really want to venture out and do um, different. Um, I was thinking about maybe um, looking to uh, swags. I actually watched a couple of videos uh, yesterday and they're just absolutely beautiful. So many talented people you know, out there just making these gorgeous, gorgeous reads. And so, yeah, I would love to go ahead and um, learn how to make, oops, my ribbon's just going to run away. So let's move that over. So yeah, so that's something I definitely want to start. Um, maybe do a couple of summer ones um, and see. So now we can run back to the beginning where I was at when I first started here. And 
Now we're going to work on the top. I kind of wish I had started um, at the top. <laughs> so only because these kind of do get in the way a little bit uh, to do the top uh, row. But it'll be okay. So we're almost uh, almost done here. And man, she's so finicky, you know, um, just grabs everything, you know. I've passed uh, some of my wreaths are hanging and I actually caught my hair <laughs> on them. So, <laughs> yeah, they will catch on on anything and everything. So you got to be really careful with it as well. And it frays so easily. So that's something else you got to keep on. You know, oh my goodness, let's move all this. See, what I mean? It just wants to just grab everything in its sight. Gosh, I love the colors on this uh, mesh. Isn't it beautiful? Gosh, so nice and bright. Can't wait uh, to see the finished product. So I am, I do this um, just part kind of part time. Um, I do have a full time uh, job. Uh, I've been a licensed agent for uh, going on almost eight years now. So I do that full time. But I'm very fortunate that I've always had such a great schedule. I go to 6 a.m. I get off at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I've got plenty, plenty of time to get off at work and chill for a little bit and jump right in here and um, either cut ribbons that day or make some bases um, or just cut up some mesh and you know start putting uh some wreaths together so i really truly love and enjoy uh, making these wreaths i'd love to go live someday <laughs> but i'm just kind of shy i don't know um maybe next time i make a wreath i might decide to go live we'll see Let's see. I'm a little nervous doing this right now, like you know, video and um, thinking, oh, I'm gonna be posting this, and I hope somebody enjoys it. Anyways, oh, it's getting nice and full there. Almost finished. Only got just a couple more to go. And I am done. As you can see, I'm right back uh, to this first one here. So we're going to finish. Oh, and I just about almost used it all up. Fantastic. No waste. Okay. Here you go. 
Fantastic. I love it. I love this. So I'm at the end. So I think I'm just going to just go ahead and cut this here. So we're going to leave just enough. And I really didn't waste uh, too much there. So awesome. You almost took the whole roll. Uh, that was a 10 by 30 roll of the deco mesh. And all you want to do is kind of tuck this in here and just kind of tuck it in through here. Just kind of, there you go. You can't really see it, can you? Awesome. Okay. So what do y'all think? Love the colors, so pretty and fluffy. This is why I love, love, love the bubble method. It's just so full and beautiful. Okay, so now let's go ahead and work on adding the ribbons. Um, oh, actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're actually going to do the curls. So, So a little bit here. We're just gonna start in the middle and just kind of just want to curl it. And there you have it. Okay. So I think we're gonna do this yellow as well with it. didn't come out right. Sometimes he just doesn't want to cooperate. So I just have to make it cooperate. <laughs> and I like to kind of crisscross them. Let's see all that. All that we definitely want to uh, go ahead and cut off. Um, all that fraying going on there. And we're going to go ahead and add this, um, add this green to it. And again, I like to go ahead and trim off uh, anything that's fraying. That's the only thing about this material. It just frays so much. There you have it. So you've got your three colors. And we're just going to tuck it right in here. Uh, we're starting back on the bottom where we first started. So we're just going to tuck it right in there and give it a couple of twists. Nice and tight. And three. And there you have it. So you don't want to touch it too, too much either once you uh, go ahead and um, and attach it because it just will just uh, fray on you. So I like to clean it up as I go versus waiting till the end, you know, to give it a good clean. Um, I call it cleaning it, <laughs> you know, just making sure there's not, not um, phrase and no strings uh, sticking out, you know, just make it look really pretty. Okay, now we're going to, so I'm going to alternate the blue. Love this sapphire blue. It's really, really pretty. I 
I'm thinking maybe I might add some flowers to this one. Um, I am waiting for a shipment to come through. Gosh, has anybody else had any um, shipping issues where um, everything is just running so behind, right? To get your supplies. So, especially if you can't find anything um, like at Hobby Lobby or Michael's um, when I go, then of course I have to order it all online. Oh my goodness. Okay. And we'll do the green. I thought of doing it without the curls, but I mean, I know it looks nice and full, but the curls just gives it just a, just a little bit more fullness uh, to the wreath. Why not? This is so time consuming, having to clear it out as, um, as I go. I know a lot. A lot of people don't bother and just wait till the end, but I like to do it all at once so that way I don't have to go back. I'm going to still go back and sometimes I miss one here and there. It is not an easy material to work with. I tell you, I tell you what, it really just wants to just cling to everything. I know, it seems like I cut a lot of it off, right? But, you know, all that fraying, I just can't, I just can't deal with all this fraying. It's the only thing I don't like about this material. But that's starting to look pretty, pretty there. I um, did get me this, um, oh my God, what is it called now? Goodness. Uh, this machine to go ahead and um, use it to cut, to cut the mesh and it seals the edges so there's no fraying. So I'm waiting for that to arrive. I need to have to make a video using that. That just does not come out right. It never wants to. Um, very stubborn material. It wants to do its own thing. It's hard to make it behave. We keep on trucking. I do get all my supplies online, um, usually if I, it depends on how quickly I need something, I can't find it, um, you know, Hobby Lobby or Michaels, then I have to order online and if I need it ASAP, of course. I end up going to uh, Amazon, which of course, ugh, can be a little pricey on certain items, but but when you're in need, you're in need, right? And you have to do uh, what you gotta do. Okay. Oh goodness! There we go. Oh, that's great. All right. Try and go as quickly as possible here. Now, normally, um, I do only use uh, three different colors, not four, but I just love 
all the different colors I can use for the Fiesta, you know. I didn't want to just do just the three. I wanted to add um, an extra color and just to kind of, oh my goodness, my way ribbon. Just to give it more color. So I just, again, yeah, Fiesta is all about colors. Just gives us a different color to look at, you know, when you're looking at the wreath. My goodness. see me struggling doing this <laughs> but I am I'm a little nervous as well because this is my second video my first video uh, actually making a wreath and so I'm really really nervous and of course I want it to look perfect right um, So I'm probably just, so I know that I'm spending a little uh, more time than I should making this. And normally it doesn't really take me that much time to, that long to, to make a wreath. I can usually knock it out in about an hour uh, from start to finish. Um, then of course it all depends on the embellishments that I want to add after. Um, I'm very critical of my of my work. Um, I want it to look perfect. I want it to look right, you know. And if I'm not happy with it, I just I tend to spend a lot of time um, on my reads. Probably more longer than I should, but you know, it's just so important uh, for to me that my reeds look really really nice you know not just for a customer but also you know for me for my satisfaction i am my worst critic that's for sure Never, ever uh, did I think that I would be doing this, um, doing reads. I wish I had known a long time ago um, about about these uh, deco mesh wreaths. Only because it brings me such happiness, you know. Um, I love making them. relaxes me um, except when I'm making a video <laughs> I'm a nervous wreck right now um, but also when a customer first sees um, my reads and just their smile and um, just the satisfaction happiness that I see on their face, you know, when I first, you know, get my reads, um, they're very excited about it, very happy, and so that, for me, is, oh my goodness, I didn't get this one, but that for me is so rewarding, and the satisfaction I feel when I see that on my, you know, my customer, I love it. It's just the best part of me making these reads. Just the joy that I can bring to someone else with something so so simple as a wreath, right? Not that they're simple to make, <laughs> that's for sure. 
But yeah, for me, that is um, my reward, you know. I mean, sure, it's nice to make a little money uh, on the side. Um, but for me, it's just, just that smile from a customer. Yeah. Just being able to make a total stranger just happy, you know? I did crunch them up a little bit because I'm going to make some stay. Um, if you do that, Give it a little squeeze to kind of keep keep it in place, kind of tame it, you know. Oh, just about caught my hair there. <laughs> this material is so finicky. Try to go going as fast as I can to make these. We still got a little ways to go. Um, so I am going to go ahead and um, pause this video a little bit as I finish putting in the curls. And um, I'll come back once I'm all done. And then we'll start on the ribbons. Okay, I'll see you guys in a moment. So I'm hoping I can find uh, some more of this ribbon. I know I bought some back in January when I made my first Fiesta wreath, but hard to find no one else has it they're completely out of stock i managed to get like the last roll um it's a 2.5 inch ribbon i normally like the 1.5 instead but i couldn't find it in that size so this is what i'm using but i am alternating um that and then we're gonna probably not gonna do the yellow because there's a lot of yellow so i think i'm just gonna go with the hot pink just to give it a different color. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and mix that one with the line and a different color. So kind of, it's got the green and the pink on there, kind of brings it together. To be quite honest with you, I. I won't know how it will look until after I put it together. I'm just going with my gut feeling of what to use. Um, of course, you know, you can use whatever colors you like. But I never know what my wreath is going to look like. Um, I don't go in with a plan. I got all my ribbons already cut um, ahead of time. And so... That when I'm ready to put a week together, I got different ones to choose from, and I just go with my gut feeling of what I I like um, at that time. I don't actually know, you know, exactly what it's gonna look like. Um, I don't know. That's just how my mind works. I just go with the flow and whatever looks good for me it's just what i use uh or what i do rather so i usually will just go ahead and um as far as <laughs> sorry guys as far as um your chanel because i know there's quite a bit so what i usually do is i just kind of roll it up a little bit um into the center it's almost like a little 
like a little ball there. Um, not too much, but you won't be able to actually really even see it uh, once the the wreath is done and you're done with all your ribbon. So I'll just alternating every other one. I'm thinking like more and more I should. I should do the purple with the pink. I think we'll just go ahead and go with this. can't get over this beautiful weather we are having uh, today. We were just freezing a couple days ago. But the last two days have been just absolutely gorgeous. Sun been shining. It's just uh, feels like spring. But then here in Texas, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> it can start to be a beautiful day, and then by the afternoon, it's just uh, might be too cold or windy or raining. Um, but lately, it's just been really chilly in the mornings. And of course, um, you got to layer your clothing because by the afternoon, um, it gets pretty warm. So you go from wearing uh, a coat in the morning and uh, by the afternoon you're nice and toasty a little too warm so far it's been gorgeous i believe it's just being in the 60s during the day i think we're hitting 72 today so it's gonna be just just perfect not too hot not too cold I wasn't sure I was going to incorporate these only because they're not wired, um, but they do kind of give it a fiesta, a fiesta look, this little one's here. I don't know if you can see it there, but we're just going to go ahead and put them on there and see what they look like at the end. I kind of sort of wish I could do these, um, could do this full time because I really just love it, you know. I just love making these reads and I, I could just do this all day long, but no can do, maybe someday. Someday when I retire, uh, this will be three. All they will do, I don't got that long to go, <laughs> actually, to be able to retire. I'll be hitting 60 before you know it, and oh my goodness, oh boy. So I got a few years for that, though, but... I'm not sure where the time goes. It just goes so fast. Now blink of an eye. 
Gosh, if he had told me back when I was a teenager that I was going to live to see the year 2022 and all the wonderful um, technology and everything we have for today is just, I would have just laughed at you because come on now. All this technology that we have, how amazing is it, right? How amazing is it that we get to live during these times? My goodness, that you can video chat with somebody uh, from across the world. Um, it's just pretty cool. And I love to be able to watch my my grandkids um, video. So it's a great way to stay in touch. I love it. I do love, 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 love this technology that just allows us to do that when we're not able to be there, especially now with COVID and all. So anyways, yeah, it's pretty cool. We're getting there. Almost got this finished up. Finish putting the ribbons on there and then we'll put all the embellishments. Um, and we'll see how it turns out. It's not so hard to put these together, um, but it really just takes time. It's just cutting up all the ribbon um, and then cutting up all the mesh. You know, the ribbon really is what just takes the longest uh, to do. Cut the ribbon and put the little ducktails on them. And, um, that's really what just takes the longest to do. But other than that, it's, I love the, just the process of putting it together. It's not, it's not very hard at all. And I really just enjoy it. I'm not sure how I'm feeling up at this rainbow uh, mesh. It is pretty. Fun. I'm partial to the fuchsia. I really, really like the fuchsia color. I think it's just my color. I love it. And as far as on a wreath, it really, really just looks good and just makes it pop. So I think that the next one I make will definitely be with the fuchsia uh, color for sure. I do like to try new things, so this, and considering this is my second uh, Fiesta wreath ever made, um, yeah, I'm just excited to see what it's going to look like after I'm done. Hopefully I'll be happy with it. <laughs> you just never know, you know? I think they're going to turn out. So far, I've been very fortunate. My wreaths have been looking pretty good. Um, I did have one that I was not happy with. Um, it was an Easter, kind of Easter spring 
wreath. I just don't like didn't like the way it came out with the colors. Uh, green, yellow was just kind of. Put a lot of sunflowers on it, and it just sits there and haunts me. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. Uh, I was talking last night about um, maybe just taking it apart and start over, um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to want to go through all that I think I may just go ahead and keep it I think I just put it on my front on the front door but just looking at it every day just um kind of inspires me to do better you know gotta find your inspiration and where you can find it <laughs> so Well, it's been the only wreath I have not been happy with that I've made. You know? So far, I really, really enjoyed, um, the Easter wreaths have been really just beautiful for me to make. I love all the Easter colors and uh, the flowers and the really cute signs I've been able to find uh, online. I, um, I'm not going to lie, I did go to the dollar store just to see what they had. Only because I've seen a lot of videos of people using dollar store. Um, materials nothing wrong with it I did find a couple of cute bunny uh, signs and some, actually some pretty flowers that they find there but other than that I don't know mine I'm not sure I would I'm not sure about the mesh um, I've never seen no, actually I have. I'm sorry. They do carry deco mesh, but it's, um, it's six inches. And I feel like that would be too small for me to use, you know. So I don't really get the 10, uh, 10 by 30 uh, deco mesh. I usually either get my deco mesh from... Um, online or either I'll go to Michael's or go to uh, Hobby Lobby. Usually Hobby Lobby is where I usually get most of my deco mesh. Unless I'm just not able to get there or I just really really need it now or they don't have the right color that I need and then I'll just order from Amazon. Um, usually Amazon I can get the next day delivery which is fantastic. <laughs> Because who doesn't love uh, Amazon, right? Um, this is where I actually got this uh, rainbow ribbon from. Only because I just couldn't find it anywhere else. And Amazon was the only one that had it. Of course, they only had just the one roll. Uh, so I couldn't get any more. So I am hoping... And I have searched everywhere online. I mean, I've gone to oh, so many websites just trying to see if I can, if someone else had it, but no, nobody else has it. So I'm not sure why, um, but I was able to just make him feel stories, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. It's not um, not easy to find it, so I'm hoping, so hoping, that someone carries it soon because I really just love it, love the vivid colors on it. So yeah, so sometimes it's not easy being able to find the ribbons that you want to use, 
you know, and I hate to just settle. Um, I did find a Fiesta ribbon um, Hobby Lobby, actually. It's like little Fiesta designs on it. So I'll see what it looks like when I get it. I mean, I'm not um, getting things shipped other than with Amazon. Um, it really is just taking, taking a little bit longer. They're still processing my order from the day before yesterday. Um, only because they didn't have the items I ordered in store. At least not here in San Antonio anyways. So sometimes you have, don't have a choice but to, you know, get your items online. I know Amazon can be a little pricey as well on certain things, especially on ribbon. I really don't like to buy the ribbon uh, on Amazon because otherwise it's really, really pricey. Um, but this here, I, I don't trust on this one. This one, um, and again, only because they're the only ones who did, who had it. No one else had this, um, this particular ribbon. And it's just so festive and pretty, so. So I have no choice but to purchase it from there. Otherwise, I get my ribbon online or Hobby Lobby or uh, Craft Outlet as well. But it seems like lately everybody's been out of a, a lot of certain ribbons, I guess. This whole shipment situation that is going on, um, it's just affecting everything, anybody, right? So... I'm skipping one, but I'm not. Okay. So, just a little background on me. I, um, I wasn't born here in Texas. I was raised here in Texas, though. Um, I was born in Puerto Rico. So, I'm an island girl. <laughs> um, till I was about nine. And then my my parents moved here to Texas. Uh, my father got a, a promotion, the sugar mills. Um, and so... This is how we ended up here, uh, how I ended up here in Texas. So I've been here since then. I did uh, leave Texas um, in my early 20s. I lived in upstate New York for a couple of years. Um, then I lived in Massachusetts for a couple of years as well. I, I tell you, it is, if you've never been to the East Coast, uh, it is beautiful country. Uh, the change of seasons. Uh, it was just the colors, the mountains, all these huge trees, and then the snow. You know, I mean, we don't get snow here, right? Except for last February, uh, this fluke uh, was stormy at last year. Um, but other than that, I had never seen so much snow ever. So just gosh i tell you talk about feeling like a child <laughs> um my kids were little so at that time but i loved it it was just absolutely just beautiful 
then from there, um, after a couple of years, I did, um, moved, uh, to Vegas. I lived in Vegas for 13 years. We actually took the train across the country because I was terrified of flying. <laughs> so, uh, and I still am. I don't fly unless I really, really have to. I will not fly. Um, so, um, took the train across. Uh, it was actually just great experience, you know, which is fantastic when you're in your 20s, right? You know, me, uh, being in my fifties now, I would not do it again. I would not do it now, but in my twenties, it was great. Um, it was just so much fun to go across the country and see all the different states. And, but I tell you what really got me is getting to, uh, going to Colorado. We stopped at Colorado and I'm in, gosh, the East coast. That was absolutely stunning, but Colorado, wow, really just took my breath away. It was just so beautiful. Just so, so beautiful. And the mountains, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful state. Um, I almost didn't make it to Vegas. <laughs> uh, I seriously thought about staying uh, there in, uh, Colorado, but that didn't happen. So went ahead and moved to, um, uh, got to Vegas and lived in Vegas for 13 years. I thought for sure I lived there for the rest of my life. Um, but that didn't happen. Um, great years though. I loved it. Loved every little bit of it. I wasn't really much of a gambler. You know, once you live there, it's the gambling is no big deal. Um, I go maybe once a month if that, um, you know, go throw twenty dollars in the Vita poker machine, and if I hit, I hit. If I didn't, then that's all good. I had a little bit of fun. Um, I've been very lucky a couple of times. I hit a couple of jackpots, um, but. Overall, I mean, I, I did love Vegas. Uh, very hot in the summer, though. But at least we didn't have the humidity that we have here in Texas. So I did okay with that. I was A-OK -okay with the heat. Plus, Mont Charleston's right there. So you can see all the snow if you want to see all the snow as well. So it was a really great experience. Um, but as my daughters uh, started to get older and... Um, your teenagers, I just just wasn't really the right place to raise uh, your kids. I thought so. I just went ahead and brought them home uh, here in Texas. So, and we've been here since. So I've been back here uh, about fifteen years now. I met my current husband uh, here, so. I always feel like it's just, you know, everything was just meant to be. Love, love, love my husband. Um, he is just fantastic. And he's so supportive of my wreath making. I told them last night I was going to make a YouTube video and he's like, well, we're going to have to get you a ring light. I think that's what they're called. And I said, well, four. He says, because all the professionals use it. They'll make your videos look really good. And I, I was like, okay. Um, but yeah, he just, you know, we go to Hobby Lobby together. We, um, he loves finding great deals. Um, for me and um, he surprised me um, two weekends ago um, no last weekend actually um, he wanted to go and take me to um, 
to Hobby Lobby, but he surprised me by taking me to Anna's uh, Linens and Craft Store, I think it's called. Uh, they're out here in San Antonio. I've never actually been or even heard of it. But he found these an aisle of just Christmas uh, ribbon. And he's like, come here, you gotta come see this. And sure enough, there was just, he's, he said, they're practically giving the ribbon away. So, and sure enough, yes, they actually were. I actually uh, did get a whole bunch of ribbon uh, for practically nothing, or at least maybe like a dollar. Um, her roll. I mean, we're talking really pretty, pretty ribbon for Christmas. So, needless to say, uh, I am all set um, with the Christmas ribbon <laughs> for, uh, for this year. So, I'm looking forward to using it. But, yeah, he's so supportive. I just, I love that he supports me. In this venture so that really really helps a lot to have that support system and of course there's so much uh, support system out there there's a lot of Facebook uh, groups I belong to the wreath makers um, group on Facebook and they are so supportive. They are so fantastic. I mean, I was kind of hesitant to post my pictures of my wreaths, but um, I mean, they truly are so supportive and so positive and such great advice on what to do or not to do um when you post your photos of what they might need uh to maybe look maybe look a little better so i love that i love all the great feedback you know i think that that's something you really need to have um for sure when you're doing anything right in life it's always nice to be supported in your decisions so yeah i love it and i love all everybody else's uh read skills and i tell you there are some fantastic talent out there i'm just in awe i'm just wow so I hope to get as good, um, or at least as close to good as they are. Uh, but there are some beautiful, beautiful reads out there and different ideas and uh, such talent. I mean, such talent. Like, wow. I'm not a real huge creative person, you know. I kind of lack on the imagination a little bit. I do try uh, to come up with um, new ways of doing things, but I'm kind of been stuck in making this type of wreath right now. I need, I want to venture out and try uh, some new things. I thought about working with burlap, but I'm not sure what kind of wreath I could make with the burlap. I don't know how it would look, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a shot. Certainly at the fiesta, I'm gonna try to make some. Just make something with it. it I do like the way the burlap looks. So, we'll see. I like to be able to make other things, too. What really got me to um, want to do the reads was also 
uh, my daughter got married um, in 2020, just before COVID actually hit. Um, and I, we looked into flowers and stuff and she was like, oh mom, they're too expensive. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll make, let me see what I can come up with. Um, so I'm pretty sure I could probably make some of these arrangements. And sure enough, I did all of her, I did all the bouquets for the bridesmaids. I made my, my daughter's bouquet as well. And I did all her centerpieces uh, for her reception. And I tell you, I got some great compliments. They actually came out pretty good. I was really just surprised and shocked that I was able to do all that. And my most important thing, my daughter was happy, right? You know, she was very happy with the results. Very, very ecstatic. So, yeah. So that worked out really good. So my daughter had been at me about, you should do this for a living mom, make florals. And I just, I just didn't think really that I was, at least I didn't have the confidence um, that I was actually that good at it, you know? So I just didn't do it. I just didn't bother with that. I just didn't, I didn't have the confidence that I could do it. I kind of wish I had. Um, so I might just look into maybe doing florals as well now that i know a little bit more on how to make them because i was just kind of winging it back then for my daughter's wedding <laughs> i was trying so hard to make them look good and i actually managed to do that you know but by the grace of god i was able to pull that off for her you know and she was very very happy so, kind of wish I had, but that's okay. We're doing it now, right? You know, so. So now I'm um, almost finishing uh, the top here. So, I'm not sure what I'm missing. And then um, we'll be all set uh, to do, um, just add all the little embellishments, the a little piñata and um, little hats and then all all the ribbon on the bottom as well like a tail i don't know what you call it so so yeah I can hear the squirrels up on my roof. It scares me sometimes. It sounds like there's some, actually somebody um, up on my roof. Oops, I took this over. Up on my roof. First time I heard it, I really thought somebody meant maybe somebody was in my attic. Because it felt like somebody, it sounded like somebody fell. It scared me so much. I was, because I, I work from home, so. Just hearing that, I just, I thought someone was trying to break into my house. Oh my goodness, I was terrified. But no, just the squirrels. <laughs> just the little squirrels. I love running, running across my roof of my house. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of this and um, I'll be right back to finish up uh, adding the embellishments to the wreath.
I'll be back in just a bit. So now that I'm all done putting all the ribbons, um, what do y'all think? <laughs> I, I do like all the colors. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and next we're just gonna go ahead and add the our fiesta sign. So I have it all already ready with the Chanel's in the back, and that's how I'm gonna attach them. So I found that I can just staple it to the picture, uh, the sign, because it's, it's thick enough um, that it doesn't go through. And and then I just I hot glue a piece of ribbon over it to kind of give some more support, you know. So that seems to have been working pretty good for me. So let's go ahead and get this baby attached here. So you want to kind of move your curls to the side a little bit here. Um, this is always kind of like the tricky part of it because you do not want to mess with the um, with the mesh too much because it starts to fray. So I got to be really, really careful with it. Ribbons out. Try to center it. And I do believe that that's pretty, pretty good right there in the middle. You don't want to lay them right on top either. You want to kind of nestle it in there just a bit. Um, so let's go ahead and... Uh, okay. Will look right? Looks about right. All right, so now we're just going to turn it around so we can attach it. Of course, I need to locate the Chanel over there. Okay. So we have what we want it, and I'll try to touch it here. I'll just temporarily just touch it for a moment just to make sure we have it um, right where we want it before before we um, attach it, you know, permanently. So let's go ahead and get this other side attached. And then we'll come back and we'll snip those off uh, once we have the sign where we want it. Okay. Oh, all these little <laughs> phrase get me and I just have to just snip them off really quick. Oh. I'll go back later and get it all cleaned up real nice. All right. So here you go. It's not going to go nowhere. Let me just make sure it's right in the middle. Uh, yep. Perfect. Nailed it the first time. Awesome. All right. So now that we're done with the sign, let's go ahead and make sure it's tightly secure. Give it a couple more twists. And I usually just um, snip off just a little bit of it. And just slide it in underneath here. You want to make sure that the sharp ends are not sticking out. So the cust in case the customer touches it back here, you know, they don't get... Um, Stuck with the little metal um, piece because it doesn't feel good. It does hurt a little. <laughs> so, all right. So let's attach this side. A couple of twists. 
and then just cut off the edges. And just, just go ahead and tuck it under there. There you go. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Okay. So here we are. Okay. And then of course you want to kind of fix um, all the mesh around it. And um, I mean, yes, all the curls and... Um, of course, we're doing a lot more fluffing later, and then of course all the ribbons as well. Make sure everything is right where you want it. And some of these get really they kind of look a little squish there, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and fix those later um, once I go through it thoroughly and clear up about any any. Um, any of them that are fraying, um, we'll definitely want to clear those up. So I just want to make sure everything is fluff everything up. Twist your ribbon around to put it right where you want it. I was end up with so much time just <laughs> fluffing the ribbons. <laughs> but that's just me, because I just I just want everything to look perfect and make it look good and um but that's just a perfectionist in me, you know. Let me fluff out it just a little bit more here. Hmm. Maybe cut this one out. Yeah, there you go. Get this one out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back in there and cut all that fraying out. Yeah, this, um, like I said, this material is just it's real finicky. Um, it's not so easy to work with. Sometimes depends on what you're using it, you know, using it for. So we're done with our sign. Looks really good, sturdy, awesome. So now I'm thinking of putting the piñata. I have a spot I want to do here. Let's see if I can pull this out just a little bit more, fluff it up a little bit here. I just put it here. So you want to have a good spot to glue it. Uh, so definitely don't want to do it on the curls because it doesn't, I don't know. To me, I found that it's best to do it right on the um, on the base. Um, mesh. So I'm probably... Mm, that's not a good one. Okay. Hmm. 
I might have to put it on top of all these curls, which I really didn't want to do. Let me put it to the side, maybe. Not right in the middle. Hmm. Might end up putting it down here, maybe. If I can find a good spot for it. I kind of want it to. I'm not sure why this has gotten so flat on me here. Let's see if I can flip this out. I got caught underneath the sign. Yeah. I'm going to put it right there. So we're going to go ahead and I'm still not satisfied with there, with it being there. I wanted to have enough support. I really didn't want to put it on top of the curls, but it looks like I might just have to. I don't think I've got any choice. Um, I don't want to put too, too low, but I need to make sure that there's enough mesh like that and right here. That actually looks good. Okay, so right there. So we're not going to be too stingy on um, our glue. So I want to put lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of glue. Um, oops. Don't be too stingy on the glue. Because you definitely don't want um, any of the uh, embellishments to fall, you know, uh, on a customer. You know, that just would not be cool. What's going on with my with my glue gun all of a sudden? But let's go ahead and glue it. Hold there for a moment. I think it's time for me to get a new glue gun. <laughs> I've had this for many, many, many years. Um Actually, I think my husband had this before, oh my gosh, it's got to be at least maybe 15 or 16 years old. So, yeah, it's time for me to get a new one. I just haven't done so, but that's probably going to be my next purchase. I really should just get a new one. So, that should be good. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's not going to go nowhere. Fantastic. Okay. And then, of course, we'll, we'll fix the the ribbons around it. So how does that look? Let's see. Oh, that actually looks pretty cute. Okay. Next, let's go ahead and um, I did want to, um, I love this, uh, this curls, uh, glitter curls. Um, I got them at Craft Outlet. They actually had a, a big sell on them right after Christmas. And I grabbed uh, quite a few bags of them. Uh, there's like, I think there's like five different colors that they come in the bag. Um, but yeah, they're wired, um, they're really hard, right? So, um, but yeah, they just add a little more festive to the wreath. So I'm gonna put it through here. Mm. Let's see, where are we going to put this? Let me stick it in between the curls here. Oops, let's get this right now. 
So we want it to be in an angle. Mm -hmm. See, this is what I'm talking about. Is I never know how I'm gonna have anything set up. I just go, I just go as I go. I just go along with the flow and see what feels right. There we go, I found the spot. Okay, so now let's turn it over so we can attach that. Probably should have done this first. Um, there it is. So I'm gonna go in a little bit with it. Yeah. And luckily it's wired. So yeah, so we're just gonna just kind of attach it and wrap it around um, the wire here. Oops, careful not to. There you go. I like the fact that it is wired, so I know it's gonna stay and it's not gonna go nowhere. Make sure nothing's sticking out. There we go. Let's see. There you go. I think I wanted to put it more this way. But likely because it's wire, you can actually move it and put it wherever you want. So that works. Oh my goodness. I was frightened. I want to. Really just bugs me. <laughs> Sorry guys. I'm just so there you go. Might put another one maybe, but for right now, this is what we're going to do. So, definitely want to put some little sombreros. Um, these are cute. They say Fiesta on them. A little guitar and the cactus. And they come with this cute little uh, ribbons there. Um, strings, rather, I guess. So, definitely want this, the strings to show. So, I'm thinking... Maybe one here. Um, maybe oh, maybe one over here. I'm thinking maybe. Um, I can kind of see it better. Kind of maybe I should have moved this. Mm, not the pink there. This doesn't have pink on that side. So let's do the yellow. Yeah, I think that works. So I'm going to glue it right there. I'm going to make sure that the strings are... I'm going to put lots and lots and lots of glue. So it, don't be stingy on the glue. Because you definitely don't want it to uh, fall, you know, on the customer. Okay. Oh, that's not gonna work. Mm -mm. I might have to move this, maybe, maybe a little bit more this way. Oh boy, I'm never satisfied or happy. <laughs> When I'm doing embellishments because I just I want it to be so perfect and so right and yeah. so what's wrong with my glue gun? I don't know what's going on. There it goes. Okay, so lots and lots and lots and lots of glue all the way around it. Oh, 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 wrong way. <laughs> oh, I almost made a blender. <laughs> wow. I caught it on tape. Oh, goodness. Well, that wouldn't have looked right, huh? Had it on there upside down. Yeah, that would not have looked right at all. Okay, so that's good on there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that looks cute. All right, so let's go ahead and glue the other one. 
Yes, I'm in desperate need of a new glue gun. I really need to invest in one. Uh, yeah, that looks good right there. Make sure we have the right side. All right, lots of glue again. All the way around. I am not stingy with my glue. Mm -mm. Nothing worse than having something fall off on the customer, right? You know, that would just not be cool at all. I'm just going to stick it right there. I'm not sure if I need more than two. I'm thinking of maybe putting a couple more. I'm not sure yet what I want to do. Okay, so that's not that good. Oh, okay, I'm going to mess with it later. All right, and then the maraca. So this is like a plastic. And I tried different ways last year, or actually January of this year. I, when I did my first Fiesta Reese, I just did, I, I did a wire um, and then threaded it through and attached it to the, to the wreath um, base itself, but I didn't like the way that that looked. So with many, I did different ways trying to figure out how to glue it. Um, so what I did is I took, oh, I glued a piece of the ribbon to the back of it. And I've been waiting and really stuck on the really good which is great because now i can just glue the ribbon to the mesh so i know for sure it's gonna stay so and it's not cute with a little little pepper okay pepper that's the name of my new uh our new kitty um yeah she's so cute um mm, uh, i'm never happy but where I want to lay stuff. But I think right there. Yeah. I think right there will look good. All right. And again, lots and lots and lots and lots of glue. I'll probably overdo it, but better than safe than sorry, I say. There you go. Just gonna press it for a moment. Okay, and there you have it. Um, it's almost done, and I think that might be the only. Um, I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna do to it. I will probably, I might add some flowers when I get them in, or. I might just leave it as is, and then I just have to do um, put all the ribbons that I'm gonna attach to the uh, to the back of this wreath, so they just flow down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, and only because it does take quite some time to attach those ribbons. Um, I mean, we're talking about a lot of satin ribbons that I have to attach uh, to the back of this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I will be back uh, to show you the complete full uh, wreath. But what do you all think so far? I think so far it looks, um, looks pretty cute. It looks pretty good, I think. Um... Eh, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about it. Um, it doesn't look horrible. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much uh, how you make the wreath. So I am going to go ahead and attach all those satin ribbons and I will be back with you guys. So, all done with my with my fiesta wreath, and you can see all the ribbons I attached to uh, the back. So 
I hope that this inspires you to um, to continue to start um, making reads if you're thinking about doing it or um, you know just to kind of get out of your comfort space I for zones I, I know that I have I am no expert by all means but um, I hope that you enjoyed my video. I know it's kind of pretty long. And again, this is my first time done a video while I was making an actual wreath. So um, hopefully as I get more comfortable, <laughs> uh, I will definitely post more and hopefully much better videos uh, than this one. But, but hey, you know. You got to start somewhere, right? Right. So, again, thank you all for watching. Um, oh, my God. This is just so beautiful. I just loved all this satin ribbon. It's just absolutely just beautiful. Um, Y'all stay safe out there. Take good care. Uh, I'll be posting pictures of, of this wreath once I'm done cleaning it up uh, on my Facebook page at Creations by MLM. So, again, thank you for watching. Uh, Y'all stay safe and have a great rest of your week. Take care now. Bye-bye.